Big hi to Toronto's condo dwelling parents. I'm Stephanie Noss with the Homeplicity Realty Group. And if you're gearing up to sell your condo, but feel like your living space is more mm, toy story than showroom, then you've landed in the right spot. With the spring market just warming up and whispers of a prime rate drop, there's probably never been a better time for you to sell. But first, let's tackle the true challenge making your condo look like Ikea, not a daycare center. So stick with me as I unveil the top things that you need to do when selling your condo with kids. And make sure to stay tuned to the end for some life-saving pet parent tips. Number one, declutter or bust. If it's Toy Story needs to meet the great purge, dive into those toys and be ruthless. If your kid hasn't played with it since the last leap year, time to say goodbye. Your living room doesn't need to double as a jungle gym for you to make that sale happen. Number two, the great cover up. Those crayon masterpieces on the wall, it's time for them to go too. A fresh coat of paint in a light neutral tone is gonna work wonders wow. for making your condo look less like a finger painting studio and more like a space buyers expect. Number three, toy concealment tactics. If your living space currently looks like a Lego landmine, as mine does, it's time to strategize. Limit toys to the kids' rooms, and if your living room has become a makeshift play area, consider time for toys to take a vacation into storage. Number four, furry friends need to be incognito. You love your fur babies, but you don't want your condo to scream petting zoo. Ensure that there's no trace of your four-legged family members during showings because not everyone loves pets and might not be turned on by the charming chewed baseboards. Five, kitchen camouflage. Clear those countertops of baby bottles, sippy cuffs like you're preparing for a top secret mission. Let potential buyers marvel in your spacious kitchen, not your collection of plastic serving ware. And now, as promised for those pet parent tips, consider vacation time. Maybe your little furball needs a mini vacay at auntie's house during showings. After all, not everyone's gonna appreciate a surprise greeting from your little furry friend. Erase toys, beds, and bowls, tuck them away, potential buyers need to focus on your floors and living space not on mysterious chew marks smell check do a sniff test because nothing says welcome like the lingering scent of oh to wet dog selling your condo in toronto with all of its kid induced chaos and pet adventures might seem like a big task but armed with these tips you can transform your space into every buyer's dream if you're thinking of selling the homeplicity realty group is your go-to team for navigating the family friendly condo market we're here to ensure that your sale is as smooth as a bedtime story that actually works on the first try. <laughs> Contact us to start your next chapter and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with all your condo dwelling parents, friends, and here's to selling your space with a smile and maybe, just maybe, finding a home with a little more room for those toys. See you next time.